Your plan is always in place and you are always working that plan. And no matter what, you are our sustainer, our strengthener, our comfort, our hope, our peace, our joy. I am so grateful for those who step into the breach to, to help out when they are needed. For those who give their time and energies to help others in whatever ways they can. Lord, you've called us to live that way. Loving others as we love ourselves. Loving you with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. So give us the courage and grace to do so living in the center of your will and your purpose in all ways, at all times. Amen. All right, well, we're back to uh, the music portion of our evening. We've got a special treat for you tonight. If you, if you look up here, we don't have a guitar. So that, that first of all, that, that's different. Uh, David Harper is here, and he's going to play the harp. David Harper. Harper. Isn't that cool? It's a 29-string guitar. It's a 29-string guitar. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, David's got some real fun things planned for us today, and, and I know he's going to need some ass his assistance too. So uh, please welcome David Harper. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, some of the people who asked me over the past few months if I'd come up come back up here and play some harp. So I decided, well, I will. I was up here, I think the last open mic about half a year ago with a friend of mine named Michelle Palmer. She couldn't be here tonight, so it's just me. That's the bad news. The good news is I won't be singing. <laughs> I'm just going to play some instrumental pieces. In fact, the first one, has never been played before and probably will never be played again. Uh, I have, before this place filled up this evening, I was look, going around looking for volunteers. I needed three volunteers to throw some ping pong balls at the harp to start off the first piece. Um, are those volunteers around? Let's see, there was Jennifer and Donna and Clara, there we go. I just bought these today. So this will be the first time these ping pong balls will have been used. What I'm going to do is, on the count of three, each of these ladies will be throwing, throwing their ping pong ball at the harp. Let me try to get the third one here. <laughs> I think she said, shut up and play. <laughs> uh, what they're, when I go one, two, three, I'll go like that. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Oh, at this, each one at a time, throw the harp. I mean, throw the, throw the, throw the ping pong balls at the harp. And try to hit somewhere in the middle here. If you hit down there, it might be a little funny. And what I'm going to do is, the melody that they create, I'm going to improvise upon that melody. So we'll see what happens. Now try not to hit the same note, otherwise we're gonna sound like this. Not a very excited piece. Also, uh, one of you asked, what happens if we hit your head? The answer is you have to come up here and play. <laughs> So, this has never been played before. Oh, I've, I've been told that once the balls fall off the harp and roll around, they turn into to tomatoes. <laughs> so, those might be used later, I don't know. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I can play that one. That's the test rehearsal, right? Now, we haven't practiced this, have we? <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. 
still do have a right hand. And being that it's still Lent and Lent season, I decided to pick a piece right now that lends itself to a, a Lent-like feeling. This is a piece composed by a uh, contemporary Canadian by the name of James Stewart. No, not that Jimmy Stewart. Uh, James Stewart, he lives up somewhere in Montreal area, I believe. And uh, he composed a piece called Lament for Owen Christie. It's a beautiful piece, which I like to play. And I don't know who Owen Christie is or was. If anyone knows, please let me know later. But it goes like this. 